Hello there and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Michelle Emerson and I am a fourth grade teacher in Maryland. Most of you know this and if you don't, now you do. I started digitally planning several years ago and I have never looked back. I love having a digital lesson planner for several reasons, but just a few of them are the fact that it's very easy to move my plans around when plans change, which is all the time, and I can fully customize my planner to be exactly what I want it to be. I have been showing my digital lesson plans a couple of times here or there in my videos, and one of the top questions I have gotten from you all is, how do you make those headers? How do you make your own digital planning stickers? So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create your own digital planning stickers, both on a computer or on a tablet. Let's start with what digital planner do I actually use? Bridget and I teamed up last summer and actually created our own digital teacher planner through Teaching on the Double. It is everything we have ever wanted in a digital planner and we absolutely love it. So if you are interested in purchasing your own, go ahead and head to teachingonthedouble.com slash store, which I will link for you down in the description box. We have Google Slides versions and we have tablet versions. So if you are wanting to actually type your plans on a computer, you would want to go with the Google Slides version. If you would prefer to access your plans on a tablet or an iPad, you would want to go with the tablet version. With the tablet version, you do need some sort of an annotation app. I actually use the tablet version with GoodNotes, but you can use a lot of different annotation apps, including Notability. So make sure that you check out both planning tutorial videos so that you know which option is going to be best for you. I will link them both for you in the description box, but they also are on our website. You'll see them linked right at the top. Now this video is not gonna focus on how to use the planner. Instead, it's gonna focus on those stickers because you all have seen them in my videos and you've asked me how to do it. So I'm going to show you two different ways. I'm gonna show you how to create them on the computer using Google Slides, and I'm gonna show you how to create them on a tablet using an app called Over. Now, before we jump into it, one last little plug. First of all, Bridget and I do send out a free set of digital planning stickers every single month. So make sure you sign up for our mailing list on teachingonthedouble.com. That way you receive those free stickers every single month in your email inbox. Also, the stickers that I'm going to show you how to create in this video, we actually already have a set of 100 stickers in 10 different colors that exactly match our planner that you can buy. So if you're watching this and you're like, Michelle, that is just too much work, I don't have time for that. You can actually buy the pre-made set of planning stickers, and then you can just use this video to create any additional stickers that you might need that were not included in the pack. So the link for those will be down in the description box. If you would rather or make them all yourself from scratch, feel free to do that. But if you're looking to save a little bit of time and get those pre-made ones, you can. We are gonna start with how to create the digital planning stickers through Google Slides. Now keep in mind, you are creating an image. That's what a digital sticker is. It's a picture. That image can actually be inserted into the Google Slides version of the planner or the tablet version of the planner. You're just inserting it as a picture. So even though we are making it on the computer with Google Slides, you can actually use these stickers with either version of the planner. So I have just opened up a new blank Google Slides document on my computer, I'm gonna go ahead and close out of the themes and I'm going to delete the subtitle box because I don't need that. And the first thing I need to do is actually resize my slide. I'm gonna to come to File and I'm going to choose Page Setup. Now I'm going to select the drop down and choose Custom. Within custom, you can create it based on inches, you can create it based on pixels, centimeters, points. We're actually going to switch over to pixels. Again, I'm showing you how to make the exact digital planning stickers that we have available for sale. So feel free to change the size in order to fit your own needs, but if you want them to match that pre-made set, this is the size you're going to want to use. We are going to have the width be 1080, 
and we are going to have the height be 135 pixels. Go ahead and click apply. It's going to automatically resize your slide. The next thing we need to do is set the background color. I'm actually going to give you all the color codes that we are using in the planner. So again, if you want it to match those colored circles that are up in the corner, the gray color that we use, I'm going to give you the codes. I'm going to say them as I am inserting them into this document, but I also will put them in the description box for you. So in order to change the background color, we're gonna click on background. We're going to select the drop down next to color and we're going to come down to custom. Click the plus sign, then you can actually type in the hex code. So the hex code for the pink color that we use is FF50A1. Go ahead and click OK and then click done. Now I'm going to go ahead and get the font set up for this slide so that I can then just duplicate the slide and change out the color. So I'm going to take this text box and I'm going to resize it to actually take up the entire slide. That way I can really maximize my space. Now the font that we use for our stickers and throughout our planner is Oswald. It's a Google font so you can access it on Google Slides but feel free to customize it with any font that you want. I'm going to click where it says click to add title. I'm going to come to the font section, choose the drop down, select Oswald. The font size that we use is 80 so I'm going to come into font size click 80, hit enter. And then I do want it to be centered horizontally and vertically. So I'm going to select those buttons. Now I'm ready to start typing. Just for now, I'm gonna type edit text. So I kind of have a little text placeholder. Now I'm going to duplicate this slide. So I'm gonna come over to the left-hand side, right click, and I'm going to choose duplicate. You also can use control D or command D on your keyboard in order to duplicate the slide as well. I'm going to change the background color to orange. So again, I'm going to click background, choose the drop down next to color, choose custom. And the hex code for the orange color we use is FF7F03. Click OK, click done. Now again, I'm going to duplicate the slide. I'm using the keyboard shortcut. I'm on a Mac, so that is Command D, but you can also use Control D. I'm now going to add the yellow color, which the hex code for that is FF. E512, click OK, duplicate it. This time I'm going to choose the green color and the code for that is 5ED940. This time blue, so I'm gonna come down here. The blue code is 32B6E6, click OK, duplicate it again. Come down to the drop down. The purple color is B470FC. Click OK. Accidentally hit caps lock, not that it matters. Now I'm going to do the gray color. A lot of the headers in our planner are gray, and that color is D9, D9, D9. Super easy to remember. Click OK. And then if I want a basic white sticker, I can again duplicate it and just choose that white background. Same thing if I wanna do black with white text, I can add that in. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and create any stickers that I might need. For example, a sticker I know is not included in our pack that I might personally want is one that says second step. That is a social emotional learning curriculum that we use with our students and I wanna put it on my planner so that I remember which days that I'm teaching it. So I'm going to click and edit text and I'm gonna type second step. And I'm gonna continue that process for any stickers that I need to create. Now in order to export them, I'm gonna come up to file, come down to download, and I'm going to choose either JPEG image or PNG image. I tend to go with PNG image because it's going to be a little bit higher quality. Now, this is only going to export that one slide. So if I go to PNG image, it just downloaded that one picture. But if you are wanting to download all of them at once, you have a couple of different options. Option one is to go to file, come to download, and export it as a Microsoft PowerPoint file. Now, if you don't have PowerPoint, 
that might not be an option for you. But if you do have PowerPoint, you can then open up the PowerPoint file and you are able to export all of the slides at once as a JPEG image. So that is an option for you. You also can save it as a PDF. And then if you have a program like Adobe, if you don't have Adobe, you could use a website like smallpdf.com and it will actually convert your PDF into images. But if you're just creating an extra sticker here or there that you need, I personally like to export it as a PNG directly from Google Slides. Now, if you are using the Google Slides planner, it should be very easy for you to open up your planner and insert that sticker in as an image. If you are using the tablet version, you do need to get that picture from your computer to your tablet. I have a Mac and an iPad, so I am able to airdrop it, but you also could save it to your files. However it is that you typically get your images from your computer to your iPad, you can also use a service like Google Photos and you can have your account sync so that when you add it on your computer, you then can access it on your tablet. Now let's talk about how to create these digital planning stickers on your tablet. You may be thinking, well, I can just use the Google Slides app on my iPad and create them. Unfortunately, that is not the case because the Google Slides app doesn't have some of the same features as when you use it on your computer. You cannot customize the color of the background unless you first create a theme. I don't know, that's too much work for me. You also cannot export each slide as an image. So I'm going to show you how to create these digital planning stickers using an app called Over. Now Over is a free app. They do have paid versions, but what I'm gonna show you can be done just using the free version. So go ahead and download the app. I will link to it in the description box. Create an account. I personally link it with my Google account so it's super easy for me to sign in. So let's go ahead and open up the Over app. And once it loads, we're gonna press the plus sign in the middle of the bottom. You can choose between having a transparent background, white, black. I'm just gonna select white because I am going to be changing the color anyway. Then I have the option to change the size. So again, if you want the stickers to exactly match the ones that Bridget and I have created, you want to make it 1080. And then because we don't want it to be a square, we're gonna turn off constrained proportions and we're gonna make it 135 pixels, but you can customize this to fit your own needs. I'm gonna press the check mark in the top corner and I now have the background of my sticker. I'm gonna start by changing the color to be able to match the color that I want. So I'm going to tap, click edit, and I now can select a custom color. So I'm gonna select a little rainbow wheel and I'm going to type in the color code. So again, the color code for pink is FF50A1. I'm going to click the check mark in the upper right hand corner and Again, check mark in the upper right hand corner. I now have changed the background color. I can, again, create a separate one for each different color, so it's super easy to export those stickers as I need them. Next, I need to add a text box. So I'm gonna click text, and I'm going to select Oswald, because again, that is the font that Bridget and I used, but feel free to use any font of your choice. And I'm going to type the sticker. So again, if I'm creating one for second step, I can type second step step. I'm going to click the check mark. Really quickly, I just want to show you all, if you did not see that font, if you scroll all the way over and click get more, and then you search for Oswald, you should be able to add it to your fonts on over. But I'm going to go ahead and close out of there and I'm going to go back to Oswald. Okay. Now I need to change the size. Well, actually I need to change the color. Let's do that first. I'm gonna tap on color and choose black. Now I'm gonna tap on size. And for this, I have found that about that 250% is around the same as the size 80 on Google Slides. It's probably not exact, but it is pretty close. Although I will say this Oswald that over has is a slightly more bolded version of the font versus what I was using on Google Slides. So it is gonna look slightly different, but it's pretty close. I'm gonna go ahead and click and drag until I see those guidelines to make sure it is center. 
Now, if I want to duplicate the slide in order to create multiple stickers, I can click up at the top where the little squares were that said one, and then I can click on the duplicate button. It will create the exact same sticker again. And now I can just go in, change the background color. Let's say this one is going to be the orange. So I can tap in the exact code and it is FF7F03 click the check, click the check again. And again, I can go in, change the font. Let me show you how to now export these as images. I'm gonna click the share button in the top right corner and I'm going to go to save. I have the option to save just the current page or I can save all of the pages. I'm gonna go ahead and choose just the current page and it has now saved it to my photos. I'm gonna close out of the over app and now I'm gonna open up my photos just to show you that slight difference that I was referring to. So you will see, I already have some stickers that I have added in here. Here's the one I just created that says second step. And if I swipe, here is one that I created on the computer. So you will notice the font is just slightly more bolded. It's not a huge difference, but if you do want them to look exactly the same, I would recommend going that Google Slides route. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to add it on to my tablet version of the planner. I'm gonna open up GoodNotes, which is the annotation app that I personally use. And let's just look at this random week of February. I'm gonna put the stickers on here randomly, so just, you know, go with it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and click on the image button. I'm gonna go ahead and tap on the image and tap again. So now I can see those different stickers that I have. Let's just insert this one, intervention time. So I want to resize it so that it fits within each column. I actually like to zoom in when I resize it and I'm gonna drag it over. And I want it to be just a little bit more narrow than the column, like that. So now I can move it, which we have intervention time on Wednesdays. I can move it to Wednesday and we're good to go. Now a recommendation I'm going to make is once you have added these stickers in, you've gotten them the size that you want them. If these are going to be stickers you reuse week after week, you can use the lasso tool and basically just make a circle around those stickers and you can move them. You also, once you lasso them, can tap and choose copy. And then when you go to the next week, you can tap and choose paste, and then you can align them where you need them. You also can go to the sticker section of the planner. So click the sticker button at the top and you can paste them on here. And that way you have them stored and it's super easy for you to access the stickers that you need. So that is it for creating your own digital planning stickers. Again, if you saw this and you're like, uh-uh, too much work, we do have a pre-made set of 100 stickers. You can go look at the description of the product and actually see all of the stickers that are included. And every one of those 100 stickers is available in 10 different colors. We have those six rainbow colors, the pink, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. We have gray, white, black, and then also a white with a black outline. So if you want it to blend in with the planner, but also have that outline so you can see where the sticker is, we have that included as well. Head over to teachingonthedouble.com slash store to grab them. I also will link them down in the description box. Also, if you are interested in purchasing one of our digital planners, we have Google Slides and tablet versions. Again, watch the tutorial video so you know which one is better going to suit your needs, but you can also purchase those at teachingonthedouble.com slash store. Currently, our planners are the January to December planners, but just before summertime, we also release ones that are running from July to June, more like that school year time, so you can pick and choose what is going to work for you. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please give the video a thumbs up share it out with your teacher friends, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. As always, thank you for watching. I love you all so much. Don't forget to put your positive pants on and I will catch you in the next one.